Hey guys, in this video I will show you a transition I used in Abyss. If you haven't watched that already, please check out the link in the description or the link on the screen. And please also don't forget to like the video. Um, so, yeah, first of all, yeah, this is a Twitch transition, so you will need Video Copilot Twitch for this. And maybe also some tricks to make it look a bit better. So, yeah, let's drag in our first clip. I'll use this one in this case. It's already color corrected, so... Yeah, let's say after your last shot, let's say everything is edited and synced up. So, and then after your last shot, you want uh, that's not the last shot, I guess. Yeah, and let's say then after your last shot, you want the transition and it's already edited and synced up. But yeah, that's what I already said. But yeah. Um. So then, that's where you want to put your tricks in. So. Type in Trickster. I always use Trickster Pro. Change the frame rate to your frame rate. Then go a few frames forward, like that. Then keyframe the speed and hold down. Sh uh, then hold down Shift and page down so that you go forward 10 frames and do that two times so that you go forward 20 frames. And then change the f uh, speed between two and four. Depends on how fast movement there is in your clip. So uh, then you pre uh, select your clip and press U to open up the keyframes. Then you shorten this, uh, drag it back to the second keyframe. Then drag in your second clip. So that's our second clip. So because he missed a few times before he actually killed him, uh, I will put Trickstar on the part where he scoped in when he hit him so then you there you okay now he scopes in and then kills him so I want the transition to come at this point so drag this in so that it's shorter drag it to the drag the start of this to the end of the second clip and then uh, you go one frame um, back the previous frame where you uh, still see the uh, first clip um, then add in trickster change the frame rate so an important is that you keyframe it at 100 then go forward one frame and then change it to the speed width, uh, that you want because otherwise the whole clip would have been in uh, maybe three slow motion uh, three percent and then you wouldn't be at this spot so yeah so then uh, hold down shift and page down and press page on two times so that you go forward 20 frames keyframe the speed to 100 and yeah that's the slow motion part so another thing you could add is scale um, so to do that you um, go to S go back 20 frames to do that you press page up uh, to the sp you get go to the keyframe where the slow motion starts. Then you make a keyframe on scale, go forward 20 frames and change it to like 115 or 120 or whatever you want. So then on the next clip you press S, keyframe the scale. Now you start with 115 because you wanted this to zoom in and now you want the second clip to zoom out. So go to that frame and go forward 20 frames and change it back to 100. So now it's time for the actual transition. So we will add that to an adjustment layer. To do that, you go to layer, new adjustment layer, or just press Control Alt Y. And then we will add switch to the adjustment layer. So drag it on the adjustment layer. Then go to the frame where the two clips meet. Uh, go to the mount at speed, keyframe it and change the amount to 200 and the speed to around 15 so these are just my settings you can change everything to whatever you want to so yeah so then go to enable enable blur and slide then go to the operator controls open up blur and change the blur amount to 15 so that's not that much blurred and then open sl the slide amount and change it to 3 uh, yeah, slide amount to 3 and go to slide RGB splits to, and change to around 35. 
So again, these are just my settings. You can always change them. So then, you go f uh, back 20 frames, change the amount and speed to zero, go forward 20 frames, then 20 frames again, and change the amount and speed to zero. So this is basically the transition. I can preview this for you if you want to. I will make it in third quality though that it goes really fast. Um, so yeah, that's basically the transition. You can uh, make everything a bit slower by opening up, uh, selecting all the layers by clicking one and then hold down shift and select the last layer, then press U, then you will have all these keyframes. You can select those, drag them out a bit, and then select those and drag them out a bit, and then the whole transition is a bit slower. So yeah, that's basically it. And also, um, I want to edit for some some of you guys now, but because I would get way too many requests um, on editing if I make it for free, I have already 850 messages asking for editing. And yeah, so I can't make it for free because I get way too many requests. So that's why I want to edit like short edits now, no longer than one minute or something, because I don't like that personally. Um, so if you want something short edited, around one minute long, or even a one clip edit, or yeah, something under one minute, then write me a private message, but you will have to pay, otherwise there would be no chance because I get way too many requests. So yeah, that's basically it on this tutorial. Please like the video and if you have any other tutorial requests and want me to start doing more tutorials again, give me some. Yeah, requests and ideas so write them in the comments and like the video and maybe put it into your favorites if you want to no you don't have to do this doesn't matter so yeah just thump up the video and give me some more ideas thank you bye